So today we're going to talk about some cool stuff, some gadgetry that I've been really enjoying. One of the most common things that people want to know when they get started making videos is what's the best camera for YouTube? And this is something that I struggled with for, man, a couple of months. And the problem that I had was I knew I wanted the quality of a Canon G7X. It's a small point and shoot, but it has a really big uh, lens, so it lets in a lot of natural light. <clears throat> the second thing was that I didn't want to get used to using like a DSLR camera or something like that and practice with it every day and then be out in the field somewhere or, or just outside in a cool setting or whatever, want to pull out the camera and shoot or be traveling and have this bulky thing and not be able to make videos without it. So I figured out a really good compromise and it turns out that I'm end up, I ended up using an iPhone 6 for all of my videos now. In fact, the one that you're watching right now is on an iPhone 6. And the thing that I discovered about looking for the best camera for, for like YouTubers or vloggers is um, the, the biggest, the most important thing isn't necessarily the camera. I mean, when you get to a certain level quality and you want like that near field or far field, whatever it is, where you like focus on yourself and everything else gets blurred out and you do these fancy things. But for like daily <clears throat> video production, for like an amateur, somebody who's not very experienced, who doesn't really have a studio, like this is just my office. This isn't really a studio. I do have a green screen back here that I've been experimenting with, but that's for another video. The, the biggest thing is the lighting. <clears throat> so I thought when I moved to this office, it's wrapped in windows. So I thought that would be enough. And it turns out it's not. I experimented with a bunch of different cameras. I borrowed some from friends. And it turns out the easiest thing to do is just get an iPhone 6 tripod mount and these lights. So what I'm gonna show you right now is the difference that lighting makes. I have two lights and I'm gonna shut them off. I use these in all my videos and I want you to see the difference. I want you to see how much difference this makes. I haven't moved, we haven't changed anything. I'm in a room that has wall-to-wall -wall windows. Uh, you would think there would be enough ambient light, but the secret is in these Studio Pro lights and I will show you in just a minute, I will walk around the back, take the camera off the tripod mount and show you what these lights actually do. And the difference is absolutely huge. I mean, you can see right now, if I just turn on one of them, the difference is huge. So, but by having a set, a two, and then running the tripod in the middle, you can pretty much put any camera you want as long as it shoots 1080p. Uh, and here's the second light, let me turn that on. <clears throat> see how there's no shadow now? And the face is illuminated, there's no shadow on one side. Usually, if you were to only have one light, <clears throat> and you stand like this with the camera on either side of the light, there's gonna be a shadow. So by buying a pair of Studio Pros, and you can see some of my videos, it's dark outside. Same setting, same office, but you just can't see outside and it's dark, same quality. So the biggest advantage to me is uh, in looking for a camera is to look at the lighting and actually really the lights. You can make anything work well with just good lights. So these Studio Pro lights, if I can get on my chair here, I also work at a standing desk and this chair is super, super high. So if I'm ever wobbling around, it's probably because my feet are either dangling or not on the footrest. But um, I just wanted to demonstrate how big of a difference these lights make. And now I'm going to show you, let me show you exactly, take this off the tripod. Ah. So my setup here, I'm not even going to cut this. I'm not going to edit this at all. This is my setup. So I have two Studio Pro lights. There's a green screen back here, but like I said, that's for another video. I uh, put a cable system up to be able to have a different backdrop behind the monitors, but I haven't really experimented with it yet. And the biggest thing is <clears throat> these lights here. Let me shut these off and let them cool down just a little bit. I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna take the baffle off one of these, move the tripod. So basically, this is my setup. I have a tripod there in the center. I have a Studio Pro light to the right and one flank to the left. And the iPhone goes right in here. It's a little Amazon iPhone mount. And then I sit over there, which you see me in all my videos. And there's nothing special about this. <clears throat> there is um, the two tripods that come with the Studio Pro kit. And then the thing that really makes makes them go is this. Check out these bulbs. This bulb is huge. This is not an ordinary bulb that you would get. Originally I tried a clamp light and I tried to do some DIY bullshit 
and there's just no comparison. This is my hand, and this bulb is huge. A normal bulb is like super, super, super tiny compared to this. In fact, I still have, I saved the boxes that the Studio Pro lights, just the bulb came in, because if I ever have to transport them, you'll wanna put them back in here. But this giant box is uh, what you put the bulbs in, just to show you how big they are. And I also wanted to see if the, the wattage was on here. It's a 105 watt. So there's 105 watts in this guy, and there's 105 watts in this guy. So the way that it's set up is whether it's day or night, it casts light down onto my little workstation there. Actually, it's not that small. It's, it's probably six feet wide. It just looks funny in the, uh, the way these lenses are capturing it. But these lights make all the difference. And without these lights, if you go back to the other part of the video, <clears throat> oh, I forgot. The other thing is this, the little, uh, what do you call it? The diffuser screen. So without these, this is pretty much unbearable and it would blind the hell out of you. But these handy dandy diffuser screens that comes with the kit makes everything super tolerable. And you get, uh, I guess, 200 and something watts of... So that's my camera setup. And for all the people asking questions or wondering what's the best camera for YouTube and making vlog videos and stuff like that, honestly, I've found that it's not in the camera, it's in the lighting. So. If you wanna get better quality videos, really all you need is an iPhone 6 and these Studio Pro lights. And I'll put a link down below if you wanna check those out on Amazon. And there was one other thing, there was one other thing that was really, really helpful. The, um, there's a couple different, that's what it was. There's a couple different uh, mounts to mount an iPhone to a tripod. One of the biggest things was <clears throat> being able to uh, do test videos and have the mount in such a way to where you didn't have to use the 720p front facing camera. Because then there really is a difference in quality and you would notice a huge difference. And actually I should have a disclosure or disclaimer here. If you're like a professional videographer or photographer, you're probably not gonna be happy with this setup. If you're a blogger who wants to start doing videos or doing YouTube videos that look pretty damn good for not, have to, not having to learn how to use a bunch of specialized equipment, and then also being able to <clears throat> practice with the same thing and have it in your pocket. And if you're out and about and you feel compelled to make a video, you're already used to setting it up and you know filming yourself and stuff. It's, for me, it's just a better application or it's a better um, you know solution to use every day. But if you're a, a professional, obviously you're not going to be happy with this. But the good thing about it is the lights make a huge difference. If you are to upgrade to like a Canon G7X or um, one of the DSLRs. The, the lights will make a huge difference for those too, even though you probably wouldn't need them as much. The, um, the other thing was this little iPad mount, and I should have shown this in greater detail when I had the camera off of the, um, off of the tripod, but I'll put a link below and, and link up all these products and you'll be able to see the difference in the mount of what I'm talking about. One of them allows you to flip the camera around, I'm sorry, flip the phone around, so you can either use a front-facing camera so that you can see the screen just for practicing, not to upload, because it'll only be in 720p, and then when you get comfortable with it and you have everything set up, cause like for me, I can't see the, the screen right now. So when I set this up, I'm doing it blind. But then, I don't know if you saw earlier, I have stickies on the floor and they mark where the tripod goes. So now all I have to do is put the tripod in the exact same spot again, set it up and I'm automatically in the frame. Cause otherwise you can't see it. And yeah, this is a little bit of a, a, a little bit of hackery uh, compared to having a, a point and shoot that has a flip up screen where you can see yourself. But for the portability, the ease of use, and the low cost, the videos look pretty damn good. Hope that helps you.